where, where does this leave the police, the investigators? I mean, is this not a clear-cut example of how the political whims of various state governments, wherever it may be, applies pressure on the police to find some fault that this man has committed and then ensure that action is taken against him? Uh, well, uh, I don't come uh, in the defense of the police for what has happened and what is uh, prima facie indefensible. <clears throat> if uh, these cases have happened at the behest of the political masters, then uh, it is reprehensible. I condemn them. Uh, the only thing I wish to bring to your notice is that in this case, uh, something which is not being talked about uh, much is that uh, uh, Mohammed Zubair's uh, uh, website or his uh, company Alt News has been getting an, a large number of funding from abroad. You may be aware that 5,180 remittances uh, were discovered by the 4th of July this year. Now, that has raised a lot of questions and most of these uh, accounts from where they are originated. Of course, the matter is still under investigation. But most of these uh, places from where they are originated are rather dubious, rather suspect, and they need further probe. But, this, uh, yes. you know, sir, uh, respectfully, as I understand it, Razorpay, uh, which was the, the, for the, the, the site through which these payments, uh, the gateway through which these payments were actually accepted, has said that none of these were illegal. No, that is still being looked into, but uh, quite a few uh, have been proven. I mean, the last okay. word has not been said as yet, but quite a few of them are highly suspect. That's Sir. all I want to say. This gives another dimension to this entire saga of uh, Muhammad Zubair.